this is going to be an educational video more than a video uh, product review. This is about the first alert. What do we have here? First alert model 9120B, 9120B. And that is where it was installed until uh, about 1.45 this morning when I pulled it down from the ceiling. And let me talk about that. If you have looked at my channel about the first alert, you will see that I purchased and did an install video in 2016 when I installed uh, smoke detectors. I have three of them in my place. I installed, I forget what model it was, but check out the channel if you care about it. Do a search on first alert. And that was 2016, 2017. In the middle of the night, my smoke detector went off. And that's a scary, th that's just a very scary feeling. Not only is it a scary feeling having your smoke detector go off in the middle of the night, but it's on the ceiling, you got to find a ladder, you got to climb up on the ladder, you got to go over there and yank the thing off and, y and pull the wires. And the problem was that when I pulled the wires, um, it was still going off because it's a battery backup. And so I pulled out the battery. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. And I thought, these are only a year old. I wasn't happy. I went out. They're not that expensive. They cost about ten thirty-eight a piece. I bought them on Amazon. I'm going to leave an affiliate link in the video description in case you want to buy it. It will help me out. It will help you out. Even if you don't buy the things, just click on the link before you put in your Amazon orders. Uh, I'll get a fraction of a cent and it will help me out. So, And the thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment, and all that other cool stuff. So, back to uh, the video. Um, a couple days ago, I'm sitting over here and the thing goes... Choo! I'm not going to reproduce that sound. You've heard it before. It's a loud chirp. It's just a one. Beep. And the dog flipped out. The dog went absolutely crazy. And because she's heard the smoke detector in here, the internal smoke detector and the fire, the smoke, the fire alarm, and she hates it. So that little chirp, and I went, oh my gosh, don't tell me. And then I walked around, which of the three is it? Which one is setting it off? And I think they have a light on there that tells you there's a light in here. I don't even remember how to... Yeah, they make it so confusing because they have a, a recessed light in there. Why not just put a couple lights on there and one of them says battery and the other says triggered or something. But they don't want them to do that. So, um, I thought, is it broken? It, does it need a new battery? Which one is it? And I walked around to all of them and I wasn't really sure. I yanked this thing off of the ceiling and I walked outside and it was chirping so I knew that's the one and I thought it probably has a low battery I haven't replaced the battery in three years so I put batteries in all three of them tested all of them out everything's working fine and so we're good and then about uh, I went to bed early last night or this morning which is rare because I always end up waking up when I go to bed early so I went to bed early and little chirp dog started flipping out and luckily this uh, one wasn't that high up on the ceiling and I grabbed the unit I turned it well I actually got this the step stool and turned it removed it pulled out the plug and it still did that little chirp, probably like every 50 seconds and so now that it's disconnected I pulled the battery thinking okay we're good and then about a couple minutes later, shoop, and I'm thinking, it can't be because I pulled out the battery and the disconnected the power. So I went upstairs, didn't hear any noise from that, looked at the other one, didn't hear any noise from that, took this unit to another isolated area and it chirped again, and what was probably happening is the battery, <clears throat> the, the circuit was still charged, the capacitors were still charged up from the battery and the AC power, and it hadn't discharged completely, so it was chirping until there was no uh, remaining power in the circuit, and then it stopped. Three years old, and so I started thinking, why would this happen? And then I remembered, last week, I cleaned the place, and I brought in a shop vac, and I put it on blower, because I was blowing dust out of the place, um, just to get dust out from behind areas that I couldn't vacuum. And when you buy these things, they come with a little, nobody ever uses them or saves them, but they come with a little thing that you can cover these up. They come with a cover that you can cover them up with, so that if you're spray painting or painting or doing any dust work or construction, 
you can protect the sensor inside there from getting dirty or dusty until you're finished with your job and then you take the little booty off. And I didn't do that when I used the vacuum and what probably happened is enough dust got into this unit that it's blocking the sensor. And yes, I could go in there and use the blower and clean it out and that would probably take care of everything. But my thought is, do I really want to wake up in the night, middle of the night again? Do I want the dog to be upset that this is going on when the cost used to be 1038, now it's 1145 a piece. So the other two didn't trigger during the night. The other two are not anywhere near where this, uh, the dust was. So why am I doing this video? If you hear the chirp, it's one of three things. It's either a defective unit, which these things go out, even though they're supposed to last for 10 years, they go out. Or it is the battery is low and it is warning you that the battery needs to be replaced. Or you are in a very dusty environment, whether caused by natural dust or you live in a dusty area or you work in a dusty building. Or like me, you used a blower and you blew the dust all around the room to get it out the door and you probably got a lot of dust in here. So I got a hold of them on social media. Well, I didn't get a hold of them. I left a message saying uh, some not too happy words, too, uh, con too friendly words. And they said, give me their, give me, give them my number and they would contact me. So I'm going to see if I, I had put in an order last night after this happened. I said, I'm not going to deal with this. I'm going to replace all three, even though I'm pretty sure this is just the only one that's, that needs to be replaced. And it's only like, as I said, it's eleven thirty dollars thirty some dollars for three of them. Um, even though I put new batteries in all of them, I'm, I know this one's bad because it, it went off again. And... So, I canceled my order. I'm going to wait and see if they contact me. And if I get a replacement, good. If I don't, uh, why am I doing the video? Because if you run into the chirp, I'm going to put this in for a search thing like uh, first alert, smoke alarm, chirp sound, or something like that. If you uh, end up dealing with that, think about what it is. Is it too old? Does the battery need to be replaced? And if it does, did you replace it and does it continue? If it continues, is it too old? Or are you in a dusty environment or is it just a bad unit at that point? Um, for me, I know the, the reason this is probably happening is because of the dust, the blower. And in that case, yeah, you can go in there and put a little shop vac or something and blow the stuff around and try to clean the dirt off of the sensor in there. Um, you're talking about your life, you're talking about your health, you're talking about your safety, your property. Uh, go out and spend the ten, eleven dollars and replace this thing and get a new one. Connect it up, plug it in. If you already have one of these, all you have to do is spin it, unplug it, take the battery out if it's a new battery, old battery, throw it away, plug this thing in there. You should probably disconnect the power, shut off the uh, circuit breaker to be safe and, uh, and careful and plug this thing in, turn it back on. When you turn it back on, you're probably going to get the nice big beep. And if you don't, you still want to make sure it works, press on that button, make sure you get the little beep, and then I think you have to press it again, or you have to hold it down or something until it shuts off. Maybe you want to put on some safety uh, ear plugs before you do this, because you're going to be right next to this thing when it goes off. Again, you can see I installed it on this 2017. That's the battery compartment over there, new batteries. But if you get that chirp sound, why isn't this closing? What's going on here? Don't tell me it broke on the video. If you get that chirp sound, that's probably what's going on. It's old, it's defective, the battery is dead, or it's just got too much smoke on the sensor. And at that point, spend the money and replace it to protect your life. Thanks for watching, everybody. I am back. Right after I stopped recording, I got a phone call from First Alert. So let me tell you what they said. Kind of interesting. Remember I said that after I disconnected everything yesterday, this thing was still chirping. I pressed the button, thinking there might be some power left in here, and then everything stopped. So what they told me is they said that when, you, when the thing starts chirping, and I don't know if it's chirping because of bad batteries or because of dust. Like I said, I'm not sure. But assuming it's batteries because if the battery was three years old. What they told me is that once it starts to chirp, 
it is going to have, it's got a built-in memory that's going to remember that trigger. And the only way to get rid of that is they said, go in there and pull the battery and then unplug the cable and then press down on this to let the circuit drain. Remember I said there'd be some residual power in the circuitry. Press on this to let the rest of the current go out of there. It will empty out the power, it will reset whatever's going on in here. Then you can put your battery back in, plug this thing into the ceiling or the wall or wherever, and everything should be fine. So, I am going to go on the assumption that maybe this was a dead battery or a low battery and not a dusty environment. And I'm going to plug it back in. I might leave a comment in the top and pin it to the top if it triggers again. But if you get the chirp, that would be the first thing that I would do, what they just told me to do. Disconnect it from the ceiling or from the, the cable, unplug the cable, pull your battery, and then press the button to let everything drain. Hold it maybe a few seconds, let the circuit drain, put the battery back in, plug everything back in to the uh, power in the wall, and hopefully it doesn't go off again. Good luck, everybody. I do hope that this information helps people so they don't have to go out and buy one of these again a couple years after purchasing it. But either way, make sure you click on that affiliate link. Thanks, thanks.